Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another Iceboxer video. This one is going to sort of kind of be another quality of life, a little bit of a tip from your buddy Mirai. Uh, as someone who has observed numerous profiles throughout the years and years that I've been doing uh, tech support and troubleshooting with Iceboxer, this is probably something that comes up fairly often. Maybe not fairly, I, I don't know. I don't have any statistics. You know, 72.3% of statistics are made up on the spot and I don't want to be that guy who makes a statistic up on the spot. So let's just say it happens from time to time. And especially with this slot swap macro stuff that I've been showing and, and ways to use a slot swap uh, mapped key, this is, probably, this is probably good to know uh, this stuff I'm about to show you. So if you didn't watch the, the other slot swap stuff I've got, it's not really necessary, but you can go back and check it out. It might, it might help you understand this one a little bit better. So I created, uh, over the past uh, two videos or so, I've created a slot swap macro that allows me to change my video settings in game as well as the volume uh, between each client as I swap from client to client. So you can see here, I, I've also added, uh, I've also added uh, some numbers here are some click bars with numbers in it, and that's kind of important for this as well. So before we uh, get into this, now this particular slot swap macro being as general as it is, right? It just it, it, It's going to affect all the slots in one way or another because we're, we're changing something for the current uh, slot, we're changing something for the rest of them. But this is going to work regardless of how many characters I'm playing, whether I'm playing two or 20, right? This is a very generic macro and it's going to work for all of them. However, what happens when you need to sort of expand upon your slot swap macro? So for the example that I've got here, I've created a VFX layout. And if you're not familiar with VFX layouts, it's just a fancy way to go about creating a window layout. And it's kind of uh, necessary for some things uh, when, when using Icebox or when multiboxing. That's a very, very vague statement. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for VFX layouts. But anyway, I've created one and this is, this is a VFX layout here. So um, if you want your VFX layout to imitate an actual window layout where the characters correctly swap from position to position. So this, uh, for example, uh, when I uh, swap the slot two, two is gonna move up to the big window here and one is gonna move to the small window, right? So that works. And one is going to move from slot to slot, from position to position as I move throughout the slots, right? So if you have a VFX layout like this, this also requires a slot swap macro. But then how do you integrate your slot specific coordinates for that, for that one, for, for in particular slot one of mine is moving around, right? So I would need to have five different slot swap macros in order to reflect the five positions that my number one character may be in. So he may be in you know, any of these five regions at this point, or at any given time, he may be at any of these five regions. So I have a feeling that people's first instinct is going to be to do this. Now I've, I've separated this into a separate key map so we can just focus on this. So we don't have all this extra crap in here. So people are going to create five or how many ever, you know, you might be playing seven or 10 or something. Um, for me, I'm only playing five. So what people are gonna do is they're going to create five of these macro, using specific numbers here. You're going to create multiple copies of that slot swap macro and then put in the, um, the slot specific mapped key stuff that you need in there. So I only have two actions that are different in each of these mapped keys. And I've got, you know, duplicates of every single, all of these actions are duplicated exactly. And it's kind of a waste. It's, it's not like a waste uh, in terms of like processor power or something like that. What it's a, a waste in terms of is, let's say I need to add something to this macro that's going to affect all the slots. What I need to do is I need to, you know, add those one or two actions or how many ever actions I need to add, I need to add them in this map key. I need to add them in this map key, in this map key, in this map key, in this map key, right? So I have to do that over and over and over for each copy I've made. Same thing right now, if I want to adjust so my, my, my uh, volume fade between windows is set to a one second fade, if I want to change that to a two second fade just to see what that sounds like, I now have to change 10 actions, two actions, 
per mapped key. I have to change all of these to two seconds. And then what if I don't like the two second fade? And I'm like, ah, I like the one second fade better. Now here I am, I'm going back through every single mapped key again, and I'm changing those two actions. I'm changing 10 more actions again. What a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time. So what you can do, what I'm going to recommend you do is you consolidate. <laughs> you consolidate your very general, uh, non-specific stuff that is going to affect all of your slots, right? So what we can do here is I'm going to create a copy of this. And I'm going to call this like a, a master slot swap. We'll call it that because whatever. Now I'm going to take this specific stuff out. Now I'm just left with my general actions that are going to affect every single window, no matter how many I'm playing, right? What I'm going to do in each of these is I'm going to remove all of these, all of these additional actions that are unnecessary. So I'm just left with each, um, the, each action that is specific to these slot number swap mapped keys. Sorry, I'm banging on the keyboard. It doesn't help me delete any faster. So here's everything we need to affect all the characters, but we can't, you know, we can't set two mapped keys to execute on swap. We can just set one. So under each one here, we can just come in, we can go, do, we can go down to key map actions. We can do mapped key action here. And um, real fast, all of our targets are correctly set in here already. So I've already set which windows need to be affected by which actions. So when doing a do map key action and your targets are already set in the in the destination, uh, in the target uh, mapped key, you set this to window current. And then of course, uh, we're in the same key map that we started in, that's fine. And then I'm gonna use master slot swap, right? So then I can just make a copy of this. I can copy this action to the clipboard. I'm gonna come in here. I'm just gonna paste it in. And I'm gonna paste it into each one. And now, each, uh, each slot swap mapped key is going to execute its specific actions as well as this general mapped key which contains all of my general stuff to affect all of my other, uh, all of my other game clients. So if I, if I export this and just real fast, let me show that I'm just not, you know, everything is set here. So uh, under each slot, I do have set uh, slot one swap, you know, slot two swap, just to show that I do have these uh, set correctly and I'm not, there's no eyes box of trickery going on, right? So I exported, and now when I move to each, each uh, slot, the video settings still continue to change. Uh, the audio will still continue to change. You can't hear that. I've, I've turned it down for the video because it's, it's kind of annoying to listen to me talk over the audio. So you can see that everything, the character slot one is still swapping around from where he needs to go, and the video settings are still correctly changing. And what we've done is we've eliminated the tediousness that comes with adding in those additional general non-specific actions. So if I need to add anything in that's going to affect all my characters now, all of my slots, I can just do that here. If I need to make any adjustments to these, if I need to make this the two second fade that I wanted to, boom, I'm done. Two actions in one mapped key that gets called by all the rest of them. This, I've consolidated all of my general stuff into one mapped key that gets called by the other mapped keys. And that's it. That's it. Just a quick little tip on consolidating the stuff that uh, it's unnecessary to have so many copies of something, especially when you're, you're tweaking and you're adjusting, which so many ISBoxer users encounter every single day is tweaking and adjusting their profile. So when you're trying new things out, rather than having to you know, adjust 10 different actions, 20 different actions every time, try to consolidate this stuff and see if you can do it that way and just have to adjust one or two actions rather than, you know, five, 10, 15, or whatever. So that's it. That's it. If you need any help with any of this, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please stop by the IS Boxer forum or the IS Boxer live chat. Thank you for watching. Mirai out.